Morris here from The Singing Drummer. Um, it has been a little while, again, since I've made a video. Um, if you could only see, if I could turn these cameras around, see what all we're doing. We've got windows that are getting rebuilt. We've got electrical panels getting replaced. We've got, it's just a mess. Anyway, um, so we've been busy and busy buying stuff because that's kind of seemed what I do. So I had a, an idea a long time ago that I would, you know, uh, wanted to do singing drum covers, and I've been trying to get the sound right. I've got it right once or twice, um, posted some things, uh, but when I sing at the volume that I sometimes need to sing at, it bleeds through the drum mics um, so much that uh, you, I can't EQ and do the things that I want to do on the drums, um, because my voice is too loud in them, and then my then if I do stuff for the drums, uh, it affects my voice, right? So I thought, I thought, well, what if? I, and people were like, play electric drums. I don't want to play electric drums. I want to play real drums. No offense to electric drum players. Um, I just don't want to do it. I've played them. I've had them. I don't want them. I like that kit. Um, so. I thought, well, what if I made it a hybrid? What if I ordered, did I open up the right kit box? What if I ordered a bunch of triggers and an interface to plug those triggers into, and guess what came in the mail a couple weeks ago, because I haven't had a chance to get to it. An empty... A, a blank box. You guys don't have any idea what it is. Let's open this up. I, I have been waiting with bated breath, but I had a big, big video project that I needed to get done. I waited over two years for this to come back into stock. Because of COVID, because of the chip shortage, blah, 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 blah. And then they were going to update the model, and it finally came out. And here it is. D-Drum, DDTI, it's a trigger to MIDI USB interface with a 10 tip ring sleeve uh, inputs. So in theory, you could split some of those up and have like 20 inputs, really. Um, and I'm just opening the box. So this came from Sweetwater, so check it out. This came from Sweetwater. We're talking... Plenty, plenty safe packages. Where's my candy? Where's my candy? Where's my candy? Um, then it was in this box. Now we got the real box. Are you ready? Should I open it up to this camera? La, la, la. More styrofoam. Something my wife really loves. So what do we got inside the box? And actually, it's a pretty big set of reference material got some reference material and you got a box with accessories what kind of accessories we got oh look at that i hope there's a u.s plug because that's a european plug they're, they're a asian plug maybe here's a european plug this is a usb cable uh screws did you come with a mount? I didn't know if it was gonna come with a mount to mount it on the rack. I'll show you that later, because I I actually bought one to mount it on a rack. But let's see what's going on here. I don't see a mount. This should be the wall wart. This is the wall wart, the US wall wart. And anything else in there? Nope, nothing else in there. So we'll put some of this stuff back. Except for my candy, I want my candy. So now we get to the goods that I've been waiting for for over two years. Literally. I kid you not. It has taken forever. Nice weight to it. Because I've heard that it's a metal case, well built. Oh yeah, it is. It's pretty heavy. So now what this is, Elises had a uh, MIDI interface device 
Um, and it, I don't know what happened. I haven't really read that far into it, but literally, uh, I think Elisa said, Hey, we don't really want to make this anymore. Or D drum said, Hey, we'd like to make that. And this is exactly the same. The Elisa just says Elisa and it's in blue. It's exactly the same looks wise. Anyway. So what do we got on the front? We have, there's a little LED. Let's move it over to this one. There's a little LED screen. Uh, there's other LED lights to tell you where you're at. And then you've got some value buttons and some function buttons. Uh, that's how you basically set up your parameters. And then on the back where the goods happen, get it in the center frame here. Um, and these are labeled. Yeah. So kick, snare, hi-hat, ride. So you got kick, snare, hi-hat, ride. Now here's the thing. All of these 10 inputs, all these 10, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, are tip ring sleeve. That means you should be able to fit, um, there we go, dual zone triggers, right? So if you had two kicks, technically, I believe you could take a Y splitter that has a tip ring sleeve and go out to two monos and run two kicks off of one channel. I'm not sure. I'm going to test that out. Um, I'll get to the triggers that I got here in a little bit. So, and then it's got the USB, so you can run it to your computer. It's got MIDI, which is what I'm interested in. I wanted to see if I could try that because I have a MIDI on the backside of my interface uh, and then there's where the wall work goes in and it's also got one of those little tangs that you can wrap the cord around so nobody kicks it out in the middle of the gig um, which this isn't really going to be gigging um, oh and what are the screws for Richie where the screws go here's screws extra screws for aftermarket mounting brackets extra screws for aftermarket mounting brackets great would have loved it if you would have sent me the bracket, but I got one upstairs. So, and that goes in one of these several hole patterns that you can see on the back. So nice unit, uh, really, I mean, it's a great looking unit, uh, 179 bucks. I want to say, um, now this does not have any sounds in it. This is not, this is a controller, it's not a brain. It's an interface. So this is going to feed into uh, Studio One, which is then gonna feed into Easy Drums, BFD, Stephen Slate, something like that, right? Or if you had a uh, sound module, an old Lisa's, you know, rack sound module, uh, you could feed this into that. Uh, through the MIDI, I, I would assume. Um, so yeah, looking forward to it. Um, the guys at Sweetwater never let me down. And this, I got the notification of this on Thursday, and I said, now is not the right time. We're rebuilding windows. We're getting new electrical work. We actually had to get surgery on our dog. <laughs> it's just been nuts. Um, and then I looked back on there, and there was, because I was curious, and it said they had like two left. Well, I can't let that pass up. I've already waited for two years. So there it is. So here in a little bit, I'm going to do another unboxing video uh, for the triggers that I bought. And then we're going to do a let's put it together video and see if we can make it work. All right. So. Anyway, uh, if you were concerned about the build quality, um, this is a pretty, pretty heavy unit. Oh, it's also got a Kensington lock on the back of it. I've never figured out what in the world those things are. Um, but anyway, yeah, 10 dual zone tip ring sleeve inputs. And you've also got uh, plugins for hi-hat controller um, and then also a, uh, a momentary switch uh, to go up and down on your programs. If, if you were so inclined. So anyway, the D-Drum, DDTI, uh, you can pick it up hopefully if it's in stock at Sweetwater and you can check it out here in another video coming up. 
because uh, right now I'm going to go unbox the triggers that I got, and you're going to want to see that because those are pretty awesome. All right. Thanks. We'll see you soon. Thank <laughs> you.